Hi hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. It's a beautiful day. It's been raining a bunch in the after, well, around noonish today, but there's a lot of water sitting around, it rained overnight, but it's really, really nice now. Nice breeze. It is nice and sunny. I'm at the dairy, obviously. Uh, and today I just felt like playing a little game. So what I'm gonna do, here's the premise behind the whole thing. I'm gonna start with five shells. If I miss, I lose that shell. If I hit, I get to replenish that shell. So we're just gonna see how long I can keep going or if I am just having a bad day and need to stop. So that's the plan. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be targeting starlings uh, because they are a pest still here at the dairy if you're new and don't know what this all is about. Uh, but that's, that's my general premise behind it. I'm looking to just sort of walk around and have fun because tomorrow, I'm supposed to have a pigeon hunt tomorrow um, which might come out before this, I'm not sure, if it happens. But it's supposed to, there's like 70, 50 to 70% chance of rain all day. And if it's like that, I don't know that we'll be doing a pigeon hunt. And by will, I mean, uh, right now I think Bobby and I are planning on doing a little two-man. We'll see. But we got the old Impala Plus. We are rocking the shot cam. <sighs> Let's get on with it. There's five. Hopefully I'll be back to get more of those. Shooting Winchester today because uh, beggars can't be choosers and when you find shells, you buy them. Apparently that is what I should have been doing for months already, but you know, I have these, I'm gonna shoot them. Well, let's load up. See if we can uh, hopefully not embarrass myself too bad. I almost forgot. Trying to make this a habit. Ear protection. Oh, I would have. was not prepped for that one. I just turned on the shot cam, and there he was. Should have pulled up and shot. Just like to hang out. I don't want to shoot that far the first one. I don't want to miss. What do you guys think? Am I going to miss my first shot? What's going to happen? Am I going to lose at my own game that I just made up? Maybe. Oh, look at them all. Oh, there's some cowbirds in there, though. Gotta be careful with that mess. Most of them are cowbirds. There they go. Can't shoot into that. Come back around. Give me a give me a good shot. Now I was sitting here the other day. Oh, actually four or five days ago. Uh, looks like I dropped a couple shells. That's not good. But this was a hot spot. They flew over this field coming this way a lot. And it worked out really, really well for me. We'll see what happens today. I don't want to talk about it, okay? But he surprised me if I was going to talk about it. Okay, well, 0 for 1. float in here. Maybe this one. There we go. Look at me. I did a thing. I get another shell. Awesome. All right, so I got three more in the gun still. I'm gonna shoot those before I go back to the truck, see how I'm gonna get a pickup. Let's go pick up this bird. Let's try to pick up this bird. Oh, yeah, he's right here. All right. Crushed. Absolutely crushed. Saw me move. Good cow. No good cow. Oh, you like scratches? You like scratches? You like that, don't you? Look at that little nub of a horn you got. Yeah. Okay, I gotta look for birds again, okay? Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him! That counts!
Yes! You went down! Not great, but that was, that was still another shell right there. Um, sorry about the sun. Let me go find him. I was expecting to find him hopping around. Him guy dead right there. Look at that. Well, you know. I'll take it. Tell you what though, hiding behind these bales, like I'm goose hunting basically, sure makes a lot of difference. Movement, not like it's new to me. I know that they catch movement really quickly and I get, I get busted so much out here. Uh, but yeah, taking a little bit more time, be a little bit more cautious, paying off. Mm. That was tempting. I see him. I've got a feeling he's gonna go to the commodity barn, but yeah, commodity barn. There we go. Getting used to, oh, he landed in the water. Getting used to this choke again though. Well, again, more or less. I'm getting used to shooting again because I haven't not shot a full choke in a very, very long time. But this one here is a kicks high flyer and I'm used to the old Carlson. So, you know, here's what it is. Um, that's not just water, so. That one's gonna stay there. Nope. Okay, I got one more shell in the gun. I so far have earned three more shells. Uh, I'm starting to get more comfortable, acclimated. Probably gonna start taking a little bit further shots. There's not as many birds as there was last time I was here. Um, but I've been passing a lot on those 40 yard shots. I'm not sure why. But we're gonna start taking them now. Here they come. There we go. Earned myself four shells. See, that first one was just a fluke. Sometimes I can still shoot. Um, I don't think that one landed in the water though. Where is he? There it is. How many times did you guys see that before I did? All right, starling number four. Time to go back to the truck, reload, and do it again. I got four for five out of that round. What do you guys think I'm gonna be able to do on the next one? Now that I'm a little bit more comfortable, I am gonna be taking a little bit further shots. What do you think? Am I gonna be able to keep it going? Time will tell. Four more. Here we go. Come in. I'll shoot that next time. Oh, look at that. We're gonna step that one off. Told you I'm gonna start taking some little bit bigger pokes. Two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, 48, 49. It was right around here. So we're gonna say 50 because he has jumped over here somewhere. Hey Brosif, there you are. Don't go in there, please. Oh, you're gross. Well, he's wet and nasty, but he's mine. Not doing too shabby now. My confidence is going way up, which typically means that I'm gonna start missing, but you know, we'll see how long we can keep it going. Just checked my shot cam and it was on a solid red light. And I don't remember what that means, but I don't think it's great. So hopefully the footage is all there. Um, if it's not, I am deeply sorry. And if you guys like this type of video, we'll do it again. Speaking of it, if you guys do like it, please hit that like button. Uh, but actually more importantly, tell me if you like it or not, because 
I mean, I can kind of judge by the views how it's going, uh, but sometimes people watch it and they don't really care for it. Now I know that there's a bunch of you guys that are waiting on pigeon content. The racers are doing good, I'm excited. There's a lot going on up there. Uh, but if you stop by for these hunting videos also, I really appreciate it. it. Makes a big difference for me. So anyway, got a few more birds around. Let's see what we can get. Stone that one. So far a shot cam picked that one up. Uh, I think it's really, really low on battery. So hopefully, let me go find this bird. I'm about ready to give up on him. There we go. What is that, six in a row now? Something like that. I'm not even sure. Anyway, let's keep on going. And if there's no shot cam, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and crop and slow mo it best I can uh, with the GoPro. So hopefully that works. Got him. Wasn't as clean as I wanted, but I got him. Uh, I was actually on the phone with my wife. Sorry, hon. My earpiece. Boy, that makes a big difference. Earplugs. Much better. All right, let's see if I can find this one. Oh, there he is. Let me catch up with him. Well, he made me run all over the place. There he is. Oh, that was, I knew I missed before that went off. Trigger pull was way longer on that shot for some reason. I don't know if I didn't have it shouldered right. If, 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 if. All I know is I knew that shot was messed up before I even had to go off. Shoot, I had a good streak going. I had what, eight in a row? If you guys have more ideas for, you know, little things I can do like this here at the dairy, I enjoy doing things like this. Um, honestly, the last month, month and a half, I've been really having fun making videos again. There's about a two month stretch there, maybe three. Uh, I was really down and just not having fun. It was feeling more like I had to and less like I wanted to. So uh, a lot of you guys gave me a lot of encouragement. It, it's made it fun again. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good time because I am. So let's grab three more shells and see what happens. Three more. Let me take that off while I'm here. There we go. Let's do this. Yeah, I only shot seven in a row because five plus four is definitely nine and I've missed the beginning and the end of that. So that leaves seven. I, I can math guys. Apparently I just can't count. Well, come to me. Drop that one in the water too. I'm not even gonna walk over there. I'm feeling good. Feeling real good. Really good. Hope you guys like it. Well, just got done talking to good buddy Brian. This is his dairy. Uh, and there really has not been a whole lot flying around. Like, it's a perfect time for a conversation. Not much going on. But I'm gonna stick it out for a little bit longer. I mean, I still got some shells to shoot. Uh, but if not, I mean, it is what it is. We might have to cut it there. Hopefully not though. But I'm not shooting more than a box today. If I shoot a box, I for sure win. Yeah, I knew that was a bit of a poke. But I hadn't seen one in a while. I wanted to pull the trigger. I still got another shell though. Uh, and one hit. What? That was not the response that I should have said, but I was really surprised that I missed. Really surprised. It's really frustrating. 
I'm gonna blame not having the shot cam on the front, you know, it just sort of messes with the way I pull everything up and stuff, which would be a valid statement if I wouldn't have hit the first one that I shot at, but you know. So, I got one more shell. If I hit, awesome, I'm going home. If I miss, well that is not the ending that I wanted, and I'm going home. And I've been out here for like three hours, so, you know, it's about that time. And the shot cam charging for a little bit. Let's put it back on, just see what happens. Let's do this. Son of a gun. Cool. Well, <laughs> 0 for 3 on the last three shots. I'm disappointed. My confidence is gone now. Not entirely. I still had fun, but that is not the way I wanted to end this whole thing. That is really disappointing. Anyway, I gotta get the truck, pick up my shells, birds. We'll look at all we got. Okay, we're up here. Gotta pick up my birds. Actually, I think I got a bucket. Hold on. Okay, well, I did have a bucket, but I got all my starlings up here. We got six nice ones in the hand. You know, a couple of them went swimming. But not a bad day. I can't complain too much. I did end on a horrible note. Like, that was, that was humbling, humiliating. It's good to get one of those every once in a while. Just, uh, it's never fun when it happens. I uh, shot about a half a box of shells, so not too bad. I feel pretty good about that. And uh, yeah, overall, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But like I said before, if you guys like these challenge style videos, um, I'm still planning on getting people out either from, you know, friends and buddies of mine, or there's kids from the local, you know, there's kids from the local trap and skeet team. Uh, thinking about having them come out. You know, there's lots of things. I enjoy shooting and it's good for me to you know stay in tune because you know what happens when you get rusty shooting birds you just it takes a little bit to get into it sometimes i hope you guys have liked the video if you did you guys know the drill hit that thumbs up button thank you guys so much for commenting it's awesome i'm doing my best to keep up i don't think i've been doing a horrible job uh but it's been a lot of fun i'm enjoying doing this again and i hope you guys are enjoying it so if you guys aren't subscribed please hit that subscribe button it would help me out and uh you know either way we'll see you on the next one